Springdale's Junior B Lacrosse is brought to you by Booster Juice Highway No. 2 in Bowmanville, just west of the Ricker Complex. A night after a convincing win against West Durham, the Green Gales take on the Brampton Excelsiors. Early going, Matt Drimmy pulls up on the shot. The defender bites and that allows him to have a better look and he will make it count as he beats Carter Brown. Brampton fights back and midway through the period they take the lead. Jaden Berge beats Craig Johansson and that's going to make it 2-1 to one for the Excelsiors. Before the period was over, the Green Gales back on top. Ben Cromer hits Max McPherson. He quickly converts to make it 3-2, and that's the way things would look entering the second period. Now, 24 hours earlier, Carson Christie put up a six-pack of goals versus West Durham. He brings the hot hand with him back to the record as he powers a shot through Brown, and Green Gales looking good. Owen Lee with the ball, he spots his opening and lumbers towards goal. In the end result, Green Gales up 5-2 and looking mighty comfortable in this game. Christie from the seat of his pants to Bronson Muller and he's in the back of the net. The Green Gales seem to have this game in the bag at 7-2, but there's still 26 minutes to go. Things get a lot tighter. Brampton opens the third period with back-to-back -back goals including this one from Ethan Shallons off the steal. That's going to make it 7-5 in a game that not long ago looked to be just a formality. Battle for the loose ball by the Brampton bench, and it's won by Joshua Cook. He's got a nose for the goal, but Johansson comes up with a massive stop. Otherwise, we're looking at a one-goal game. Some good discipline to not take the bait leads to a Green Gales power play where Bryce Dennis dials up his team's eighth goal of the evening to restore order. And 8-6 to six would be the final. Owen Lee, Bryce Dennis, talk about the value of winning a game where the team has to gut it out versus some of those easier victories. I think it's definitely a good experience for us because we were, we like, that game was a lot easier last night, so I think it's a good experience for us to see, like, because we're trying to, like, win here, so we need to see what the other teams are like, and we're going to have to battle in a lot of games. Uh, the transition game for them was really hurting us and they just kept on coming. It was kind of, their offense wasn't clicking too much, not as much as in the second period and we were turning the ball over a bit and then that also helped Brampton's transition game. Last playing last night too, big game. I have a lot of guys uh, a little banged up from that game last night and coming through the third period we might have ran out of gas a little bit there but uh, start of the season I think we'll, uh, we'll definitely get the, the lungs going better and we'll be good to go in a couple weeks. Yeah, I think it just uh, prepares us for late in the season when uh, the games are going to be way more important and uh, even leading into playoffs. I know it's a long way away, but uh, all those games are going to be tight and we've got to figure out how to win and keep the, keep the score uh, in our favor in the third period.